Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt. So today we're going to take a look at the Pinnacle Dazzle DVD Recorder HD. It comes with an asterisk. That can't be good, can it? So I got mine on Amazon. Uh, approximately it was about a hundred odd dollars. They always seem to be that amount. The one thing that you'll certainly notice is the odd shape that it decided to go with. Looks like a teardrop, doesn't it? And what do you get inside the box? Well, you get the Pinnacle Dazzle DVD Recorder HD with an asterisk, the instruction manual, and Pinnacle Studio. So taking a closer look, what do we got? The composite in with the S-Video in with the standard USB 2.0 connection. I mean, the good thing is this cable is quite long, and that's something that I do actually like. Okay, so you're probably wondering what that asterisk is all about. Well, it's to do with an update patch for Windows 8.1 or 10 and it, I'm not going to lie, it makes you jump through hoops. So we're on the support page which allows you to download the patch. Now I advise downloading the patch first otherwise you're going to be lost trying to find what's wrong with the installation which we'll get to. I'll leave a link in the description that leads directly to the patch. It doesn't take too long to download the patch I would save it in a location that you're going to have easy access to get to without trying to remember where it's saved to. Now it's time to install the Pinnacle Studio. It's going to ask you for the password and the serial number which is on the sleeve. This software is probably a little bit more advanced than what my test computer is capable of. So this is where we find the installation error and this is where we're going to need to do the patch install. So this way you'll have to update the patch. Now this is really important. You have to restart the computer first before doing the patch. So going through that, we'll get back. So currently at the moment it's installing the patch. It does take another five minutes. When you start Pinnacle Studio, this time now it starts without any installation error. Pinnacle Studio is just initializing and this is what it looks like. Composite connections, just following the colors. Then there's the S-Video. I use it just to see if it'll come through. Uh, matching the back of the VCR. Plugging in the USB. Driver will install. So just simply click on Import and Studio Importer will appear. So instantly I see that it's just chugging along like this boat at a really slow frame rate. I was like, that can't be right. So regardless, S video or composite, I noticed that it's not capturing correctly. Now again, this could have been my computer. So I thought I'd test it on OBS Studio just to be sure. And lo and behold, OBS Studio can see it without a problem. And it's running at a smoother frame rate. So I'm thinking, okay, so something about the software just doesn't like my computer. That reminds me, I've got to make dinner after this. What's for dinner? You. So I thought, you know what? Let's dabble once more with another piece of software and see what happens. So open PowerDirector and it's running at a much better frame rate. So whether it's Pinnacle Studio that just has a problem with my computer or it could be just an issue with the software altogether. But at least the Pinnacle Dazzle does work with other capturing software. So export options, we have file, burn to a disk, upload to the cloud service or device. You can always tell the date of this type of software when you just click on device and see what shows up. Nintendo Wii, PlayStation Vita, PSP, Xbox. Uh, now that's got to say something. If we click on file and have a look at the uh, options and then click onto the settings under type, you can see that we've only got the choice of AVI, MPEG-1 or MPEG-2 or Windows Media. Export options are limited. You would probably need to use another piece of software to uh, convert it into an MP4. Okay, so what do I think of the Pinnacle Dazzle? Well, I'm going to be honest, I think of it more like the Pinnacle Fizzle. But it does work with other software. So if you do want to waste your time trying to go through that whole Pinnacle Studio uh, installation and then the patch, you certainly can see that it works with OBS Studio and if you've got any other sort of recording software, it should work with that without a problem. Price-wise, I'm pretty sure these are under 100 bucks by now. 
if you could get a second hand, maybe that's probably a better option. But if you're choosing between this and the Ava Media, I'd definitely go the Ava Media. If you like what you saw, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Tears on my pillow, pain in my heart over you. What's that from? Greece. Just dawned on me.